subscribers asked for an overview of my garage slash shop. So I thought I'd do that this morning. I hope you find it interesting. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the uh, detailing station. These are just Walmart uh, storage cubes. I bought three of them and uh, I use them for my waxes, cleaners, some rags, and uh, one of the cubes is dedicated to um, manuals, the assembly manual, and that sort of thing, which are necessary if you're going to wrench in your car. And again, I have some waxes and other type of cleaners. And as you can see here, I have some of my uh, brush decor. Uh, same thing for this portion of the, uh, the back wall. Oh, and I uh, finally added uh, a clock, which is really handy. I uh, built the um, pegboard uh, units when I moved into the, the house last year. And uh, that's where I keep all the commonly used tools. The, um, the shelving that I have in the garage is commercial shelving. And I've had them for years. Uh, they're great, very strong, and um, maybe a little bit on the too deep side, you know, a foot would have been plenty, but it is what it is. And actually I built the, the workbench. I took one of those uh, units and I cut it in half, and I built myself a workbench, which is actually quite sturdy. And for the top, uh, I used uh, three-quarter inch MDF, so it's uh, it's really really great. Uh, like everybody else, a lot of these little bins or little pieces and parts and, and that sort of thing. This is um, one of those protectors, I guess you can call them. I uh, was at a at a paint supply store years ago and. Uh, I was gonna throw it, throw it away, and I, th I thought oh, I can use that, and that really helps keep uh, the workbench somewhat, somewhat clean. I also built some of these um, tool hold holders, and they're integrated into the uh, the pegboard. And here's another one of those um, little kind of bin. Units. I also, of course, have several scale models all over the place, all over the house. And uh, a few years ago, I finally bought a toolbox. I got this one at um, Lowe's. It's a Cobalt. And uh, it was around Christmas, so I got a, a very nice deal on it. And, uh, and also some of the tools. Everything is somewhat organized, and of course, you know, the uh, system that they had, it's, uh, it's really nice and uh, keeps everything very, very clean and, uh, and easy to, uh, to find. Um, the, the bottom unit of the, uh, of the toolbox actually was on sale. It had a big dent. Uh, one of the drawers I'll show you in a sec, this bottom drawer had a, a huge dent and um, I managed to uh, fix most of it but uh, I got an extra discount when I bought it because it was like a floor model type of thing and uh, I got a heck of a deal. Um, so more shelving and again I keep all kinds of things both for uh, home projects, car stuff and uh, whatever. And uh, here I have some, you know, uh, stuff that I use for, again, home projects, uh, additional cleaners, oils, brushes, old parts. I even have a little section down at the bottom there for my uh, uh, jack stands. And again, just 
general stuff you find in uh, the average garage. This corner section though is for my all, all my um, Corvette related parts and uh, things that I've saved over the years or I, I bought at um, swap meets and uh, they're somewhat organized I guess you can say at least they're in one place and I also have some maintenance uh, supplies air filter um, oil filters that's that sort of thing and one of these days I'm gonna organize these uh, parts a little better so I can find them easily without having to dig through the same box five times uh, this corner I have some uh, gardening supplies and, uh, and tools rather and uh, my bike and uh, that green thing back there that's my uh, pressure washer that I um, I've used uh, a lot around the house um, it's a great great thing to have and um, more pegboard that I built um, when I moved in and this toolbox I got uh, I got it on sale at uh, Harbor Freight and it's, it's super fantastic I mean the thing is is really good quality and uh, very well made and strong and uh, it's beautiful so I um, I bought one and uh, again to keep things clean and, and out of the way and you can see additional tool hold holders that I've made and um, this are pretty pretty handy I, uh, I also uh, added a couple of uh, power strips again from uh, Harbor Freight and uh, have one on the other end there and they're great I mean you cannot have too many outlets so um, those are great and actually I uh, attached them pretty securely to the uh, to the shelf Of course, floor jack, you have to have one of those. It's a low profile. And uh, I don't use it as much because I have the uh, quick jacks, but still comes in handy. A couple of the uh, folding tables, since I have plenty of room, those are great. And uh, here's another shelf that I uh, positioned between the uh, garage door tracks and um, just additional storage. And uh, this one I customized a little bit so I could have my uh, clamps and uh, some tools uh, available, you know, easily accessible. And speaking of the quick jack, this is the uh, hydraulic pump. I keep it there. Um, you can see the uh, quick quick jack is is right there. I uh, I understand there's some kind of hanger you can attach to the wall but I don't have that and since I have plenty of room it just lifts there and on the floor and it, it's fine for for my needs um, this area here of course where I park the car and I've gotten actually a, a few questions about these little mats that I have for parking the car I, uh, I have, I've, I've had them for a couple of years I, a previous house that I owned I had the, uh, the floor epoxied and I just wanted to protect that area because the tires get super hot so I I couldn't throw them away they were they're still fine so instead of keeping them up on a shelf I just put them on the floor and uh, they work fine so that's why they're there uh, the yellow thing you see there it's um, what do you call that like a parking stopper and I've had that one for years I uh, pretty sure I got it from Amazon and uh, so that's a great thing to have actually it was a package of two um, here I had some leftover pegboard so I built something for some uh, brushes and just it was wasted uh, wall space so that is about it I um, the garage uh, 
a floor. It's another question that I've received uh, several times. Why haven't I painted it or epoxied the floor? And the reason is cost. I had some leftover, just to give you an example, uh, these final planks. And I just decided to uh, pretty up this area here, keep it kind of clean when I walk in the house. But uh, the floor itself, I don't see the point really uh, spending money making it look pretty. I mean, if I had the, uh, the funds, sure, why not? But um, I don't drive my garage, I drive my uh, Corvette, so um, I don't see the point really. Uh, the floor is fine, I keep it clean. I mop it uh, at least um, every two weeks or so. I um, Again, it's clean and it's fine. I don't, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, and again, the uh, epoxy looks great and it's all, all that, um, but uh, I cannot bring myself to spend that kind of money. And I know there are kits that you can buy, but uh, nah, I'll just keep it like this. If I spill something, I'll just clean it and move on. I don't have to worry about it. But um, uh, not something that I wanna spend money on at this point probably ever uh, <laughs> it's fine it's it kind of has its own patina you could say but um, again just a personal choice and I respect you know your opinion if you uh, if you have any comments feel free to uh, share them with the rest of us I'm always willing to uh, to learn stuff so um, anyway that's about it about um, as far as the floor is concerned Lights, I uh, made a video and I'll provide a link to the uh, Barina LED lights that I installed um, last year. They are great and they work very well. These one, two, three, um, and four um, LEDs are from uh, Harbor Freight, but the uh, Barinas were a heck of a deal. I think at the time they were on sale for like $40 for six of them. Super easy to install and um, they're super light. So I have six of those. And uh, since I, when I detail the car, I do it in the garage, it provides plenty of light, which is important when you're detailing. Um, and actually, um, this side of the garage is um, pretty well illuminated the other side as you can see it's a little darker and I may in the future add some more of those barina lights my uh, might buy um, you know six more or, or 12 I don't know I add some more to the uh, detailing area as I'm showing there they uh, they, they have these uh, pigtails let's call them that and uh, you could um, daisy chain them one to the uh, to the next super easy there's uh, outlets at the end of each unit and you just connect them um, and there's no issue with uh, heat or anything like that so um, again they're great So I think that's it as far as the garage. I hope this was somewhat informative and uh, maybe helpful. I don't see how, but uh, I thank you for watching and uh, for subscribing. And I'll catch you next time. Take care. Bye.